Hello, how are you? Hope everything is good with you. And welcome to another daily dose of uh, gaming stuff. Um, today I got a few topics here. Um, starting with some hardware stuff. Um, regarding AMD shipping uh, around 200k. Um, uh, RX 7000 series uh, throughout the third quarter of 2022 which is good uh, because um, besides the, these cards are way cheaper than the NV, they still are very expensive for me uh, for at least because the, they are also high-end GPUs uh, but uh, they are way 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 cheaper and from the, the leaks of performance wise they are uh, very competitive uh, they supposedly beat at least in synthetic benchmarks they beat the 4080 uh, very well uh, this series of graphic cards is more aim of competing with the 4080s uh, they just will not try to compete with 4090s um but yeah uh throughout uh, supposedly this guy kyle bennett and he supposedly verified from multiple sources uh, 200k uh 7900 xts and xtx gpus throughout this uh, late uh, last quarter of the year um and all uh, related other stories that I've been checking, um, the even the um, AB cards uh, partners, uh, they, they at least the the reference price, they are not uh, like way above MSRP uh, from the reference cards from AMD, uh, being like one thousand dollars and nine hundred. Yeah, that's uh, the for the uh, XT and XTX. Uh, they are going around from what I can see around $100, uh, 150 give it or take. So it's not like two, three hundred dollars like Nvidia uh, graphics cards. Uh, uh, basically, because this happens because um, AMD is uh, with the chiplet design can manage to um, save a lot of cost uh, regarding the the GPU engine can be uh, basically done in five nanometer processes and the memory that doesn't need this uh, uh, like high-end uh, uh, node stuff uh, they can be done in a six millimeter uh, nanometer process which is uh, uh, less expensive and the fact they have more yields per wafer uh, uh, because it's a, it's like a smaller chip for all intents and purposes so uh, it, it gets more yield so it, it gets uh, per wafer it gets way cheaper um and i hope that they do good the graphics the gpus they, they are good they at least out uh, beat the 4080 and they are cheaper so you can have uh, at the high end like a standard price of one thousand dollars maximum like the ceiling there around that value uh, so uh, because uh, $1600 it's like a PC a, a complete PC to play games it, it's it's way overboard uh, I saw another news that uh, like a rumors of there is like another coin for miners to, to mine we'll see how it goes if it compensates for them or not if it does we can end up in a, a similar situation like uh, the launch of the 30 series I don't know uh, we will see hopefully hopefully not uh, hopefully the market will stabilize and and get uh, more affordable and uh, gpus and have supply to uh, for the demand there is because the, it's like been two years almost with stagnation of no no launches uh, new launches per se except now for the 40 series which is way expensive for normal people to to buy the and refresh their gpus if they need it um as you can see yeah uh, as you can see the the process that it makes from five mil uh, five nanometers sorry about that and uh, for the main thing which is the gpu engine per se and the memory associated with it it's uh, six nanometers um it I think this is, will be a good graphics card. The only benchmarks that we saw was synthetic ones, which is uh, it, usually it's used for reference between generations of GPUs between the, the same brand. So it's not uh, a benchmark on uh, gaming uh, performance. Uh, the launch of this uh, GPU 
uh, it's uh, debuted for the 14th so around two three days we, uh, for sure in one or two days maximum we will start to see some uh, reviews coming out i already saw some unboxings that the, the gpu is a normal sized um it, se it seems everything is going well for amd for the, this launch and i hope so um yeah for now hardware wise i will end up here and we will go from some games uh, there is like uh, the returnal i mentioned this um, this game a few days ago um and i don't know if this is a mistake or not uh, but supposedly it requires 32 gigabytes of ram uh for pc because this is uh, is already launched like one year ago or something like that um in consoles and i don't know if the, the port is not well optimized but supposedly it needs 32 gigabytes uh of ram uh, for recommended settings uh, supposedly for minimum you just need like 16. Uh, i find that weird because uh, mainly the, of the gpu demands here um i find it weird this uh, this uh, 70 uh, 100xt model and the 2070 they are completely different uh, graphic cards this one is like 4040p usually used uh, and this is i don't know if it handles very well mainly because of the the gigabyte memory here the 8 gigabytes um, usually the higher the the um, resolution uh, usually it pulls more um, memory from the uh, gpu um, we will see how it goes i hope it i hope it will get more optimized uh, regarding the pc port we will see uh, i don't have here a real launch date no uh, i don't think there is like a a, a launch date per se uh, but it, it, when it does i will i will let you know um, and of course no crossplay with ps5 uh, i think it's regarding saving uh, systems but uh, it's still fresh things in this uh, new game some games already bring when they launch for all uh, systems usually they already have some crossplay uh, mostly like uh, saving um yeah for returnal this is it uh, changing a little bit here from the judas this is from the new uh, announcement from Cam ken levine which is the creator of bioshock series um i got a little bit more details here basically this is supposedly like a, an escape uh, thing um which is basically it's a starship so it's going to be outer space i suppose it is not going to have anything with bioshock but it still has some influences as you can see here some on some screenshots and in the, even in the trailer you get here the sensation there is a lot of bioshock influences here and even the the, the hard work uh, in the gameplay seems very very similar which is not bad it's uh, uh, it's it is what it is uh, the story here i think it's completely different and basically it's narrative driven uh, in the fact that you should uh, you need to work out with some people to uh, escape from the, the starship i don't know if you can save the starship from doom or whatever it is in the trailer showed like a meteor to, or asteroid trying to uh, hit the um, the ship itself i don't know um it still doesn't have a release date uh, but i assume uh, next year we will start to see more uh, more teasers uh, usually that's how it works with camp levan you will drip out some info uh, similar like uh, good games and good creators um, like from software they start will start dripping stuff uh, with some teasers and people will start to try to puzzle uh, things out the same way kojima does um, but yeah, uh, I will uh, to follow up this game and will give you any news regarding this one also. And to finish up here, we got again Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. I just, uh, I watched the, the trailer like two, three times per day. The mood it set up and, and, and the, especially the music. The music, I just, I just love that synthesizer bringing back 80 vibes um, and how the at least especially the movement on the on the 
on the I think it's uh, the ACs people will call it. I, I've been catching up with a lot of more armored core uh, veterans here um, because I never played any armored core games and even like people talk about Dark Souls games. Um, my main uh, experience is with Dark Souls 3, even though I've been catching up with uh, throughout this month uh, with a lot of stuff regarding um, lore, uh, Dark Souls 1, Dark, Dark Souls 2, even with uh, Bloodborne and not much Sekiro because I want to play that game and I want to be spoiled too much. Um, but I think I need to start watching more stuff about Sekiro's because how we can be in, uh, intertwined with the gameplay of this game. Because the themes is very much um, uh, how Miyazaki uh, set up the, the mood of his, the, of his games and the themes they are uh, approached here. Um, I see a lot of... Um, almost like a, 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 a parallel story of the first scene, um, how it is approached, mainly things were uh, as they always were, and supposedly something is discovered here on this, suppose, I think it's the planet Rubicon 3, and they discover something different, like a, a power source, it's like they, they discover the fire, uh, because even the trailer mentions the, the fire, the flames, the, 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 the cinders, and the fact that it, somebody tinkered with the, with the flame in a way, or in this case, this power source, in a way that, I don't know, we can interpret in the way it's not meant to be, uh, it got out of control, almost like is a leaf, try to cre recreate the flame, the first flame kind of thing there, and how it, it went uh, out of control, and even though after around 50 years uh, things calm down humans with their uh, the, the, the power hungry and how they want to control everything in their hands they will they will try again to um, control this 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 uncontrollable f flame per se in this case it is uncontrollable power um, we will see how it goes at least the films I, I like it and the gameplay itself I assume, um, I think Armored Core is very fa fast paced, uh, almost like an arcade style uh, gameplay here. I think it's going to be uh, um, from the descriptions and the, the press releases that I've been checking and even from the videos of, of people that are more well known. I think this game will have, uh, uh, not slow paced, but um, I think it's going to be very, very, in terms of uh, how the action is going to be developed, like um, similar to Sekiro, it's going to be f uh, relatively fast, um, not much um, tanky like Dark Souls, not sl that slow paced, but more uh, focused on parry wise per se, which is uh, exchange of, of strikes and everything. Um, not much based on defense. I think defense is going to be like a last resort for, of some sort. And uh, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, what I'm reading, uh, the discussions around uh, if it is too much Souls-like or not. Uh, I think uh, people try to uh, tag and put things on boxes. Uh, as do I to a certain degree, but uh, I don't think it's going to be... Um, it, I think it's more about the philosophy how from software and especially Miyazaki imbues uh, the philosophies and the themes more and how the gameplay will affect that philosophy itself. Although it's going to, I think it's going to be a little bit um, fast paced because it's going to be also self, something that we basically never saw too much on um, Souls-like games which is 3D. Uh, maneuverability only I think in Sekiro because they you have like a um, a hook that you can go around uh, almost like 3D and also Elden Ring now has like the jump mechanic and the the, the mount is also can go uh, up and down more so the uh, the game is more vertical than the usually it is with the Souls like games I think we, we can count on that verticality. In, in the game itself, but I think it's going to be um, 
kind of more realistic physics uh, so it's not going to be just arcade style uh, I think it's going to be more uh, slow paced rel relatively from the previous Armored Core games from what I saw I think this is uh, my, my point here uh, I don't know if it's good or bad I just want to play the game when it comes out that's, that's my main thing and experience for myself and hope uh, everybody enjoys uh, veterans and newcomers that's that's my my wish um i don't want to um anybody uh not enjoying this game i hope everybody enjoys all the games they want to enjoy uh, i just uh, usually tell people not to put their expectations so high uh, that they get disappointed when the when they play the game uh I think uh, I get hyped just by watching the trailer because it the trailer itself has a, a sp uh, sp it's like almost like all from software trailers if you pay attention they tell a story the story here is about basically to uh, the main story here on the first trailer is like two armored cores going about it and then um the the vic the the victorious this this one gets to to more battles itself so basically you are this protagonist to a certain point and you go about it battling because there uh, there is multiplayer in this game for sure um the way it's set up here in in some screenshots and even in the trailer for sure is going to have like battlegrounds like uh, i think similar to the colosseum patch there is like uh, 6v6 all-out war or there's going to be something like uh, you have to defend a fortress of some sort. I see this happening. Um, and I think it's going to be a little bit like here. I think in the beginning of the game and in your uh, free time you were not uh, fighting that much. I think there is some kind of resource gathering. If not mistaken and explorations. That's how you going to get to know more about the story. I don't think the narrative is going to be like story driven. Um... Even though if it is, I'm not. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, there are infinite, almost infinite ways of telling a story uh, in a game. Um, but yeah, I will stop rambling here. Um, but I, I'm I'm very hopeful for this game. It's a different kind of game. Uh, it's I'm sure it's going to be an excellent game. Uh, I just hope it meets ex the expectations of everybody. Uh, I just hope that uh, not uh, that everybody doesn't put this uh, expectation too uh, too high, that it will uh, that it's impossible any game to meet those expectations. Um, we will get for sure more information throughout these months to come until the launch, and we'll have a better idea how it's going to work. For sure, you're going to have some gameplay footage. Uh, like every other games that I've been talking about that we only had the announcements on the Game Awards and I will uh, especially from software I didn't get disappointed in any games uh, how, uh, at least the games that I played and the games that I saw uh, they didn't disappoint me on the expectation I had for the game uh, they, they, they've been launching throughout this at least 10 years and I will wrap up this video, uh, or else it's getting too long. Uh, I just, I just like the, the, the how things are here with Armored Core. Uh, I will wrap up here with my go get funding as usual, hoping to get uh, at least half of this uh, goal by the end of the year. Um, and yeah, uh, any uh, any feedback is very much appreciated. Uh, if you like, like, dislike, dislike. If you love, uh, subscribe. All that jazz. I'm also on Rumble. Uh, Patreon and all those places everything is on the links in the description and I wish you an awesome day and until the next one Konami Master out <laughs>